This meeting is being recorded. This meeting is being recorded. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, Larry, if you don't mind, kind of go back and start again. Oh, sure. Uh, I started, um, I started compiling lists of, uh, um, by county, which is pretty much the only way that the, uh, that you can do this is by county in the state. And, um, so I've, I've got lists of, uh, the, uh, school boards in the state, the, um, and not all the members, but just the, you know, just the school board. Okay. Um, at this point, the city councils, the city commissioners and the school libraries, I've gotten that far. So, uh, you know, I've gotten to that so far. But, but do, do I understand this right though, that, that Marty's idea is to, to get to the members of these different, uh, groups, right. Well, as well yeah. as the group. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the idea was that, uh, you know, if we can get people involved in the different regions throughout the state, the COS regions throughout the state, um, and have them go to these meetings at these different uh, government entities or libraries and point things out or raise, uh, raise re you know, the flag on something, or, you know, and or about somebody, either a proposal or, or someone, <clears throat> someone saying something that uh, um, we feel like we need to, uh, we want to raise a red flag for, um, you know, they, they would be able to get back to us in some form or fashion. Um, and uh, we could record that and then try to, uh, uh, um, rally uh, a lot of the COS folks to, uh, uh, you, you know, raise, you know, raise a, a certain amount of concern uh, for, for that issue um, uh, and not restrict it to just, uh, you know, one district or uh, maybe even one region. I don't know how far he was thinking he wanted to go with it, but you know, as you know, uh, the COS regions don't exactly comply <laughs> or uh, or uh, uh, overlay. They overlay can overlay a lot of uh, a number of different counties. So, you know, um, I think that uh, you know the way that I was looking at it was to uh, possibly go to the uh, region directors and have them disseminate the information and have them coordinate it. Um, and that way, I think it would go, you know, it, we, we could be getting everybody involved in, in the grassroots action, you know. So I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about some of those details just yet, but, uh, and, and I'm not sure about, uh, you know, how we will, how we can go about getting, um, the volunteers um, uh, perceptions back to us that uh, would be that would enable me to you know record that uh, in in some form or fashion I'm thinking <clears throat> excuse me that uh, because of the uh, number of school boards the number of uh, counties the number of uh, libraries that that are going to be involved there's there's a pretty big number there yeah um and uh i can i can put that on a database and uh, make you know pretty easily extract that information um uh, say you know maybe like every maybe twice a week or something like that um you know run a run a run a system scan and extract that information and get the word out to the region regional directors. But you know, like I said, you know, we haven't worked out all the details for 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 the uh, for the uh, requirements for all this yet. But um, you know, I, I, I'm I'm confident that there's a there's a way that we can make something like this work. 
yeah. And, and of course, you know, it, it, it relies, it's going to have to rely on automation to do it because, uh, you know, try to do something less, like this by, uh, by our manually, uh, it right. is, right. is, uh, air, not only error prone, but also, uh, time consuming. Right. So, right. There is a, there was a presentation towards the end of the SIA summit on geospatial stuff. Yeah. So this guy could zoom in on, and he showed Texas, but he could zoom in on a district or county and stuff and tell you, like all the rep or all the school board members in that area and anything already, just it's already out there. And even, you know, it's up to date. So if they changed, resigned, got somebody else in through an election, it'd be automatic. What was so that? Was, you say it was up to date. Is that information that that they in, in Texas had generated or are they Texas. linking this or pulling this from other well, existing? It's from the state of Texas and government list and stuff. So from, from, from Texas governmental. Yeah. And they can, you know, bring in like who voted for what as far as parties and stuff. So some we, of that would be. Do we have that? Anymore. Do we have that type of stuff in Indiana? We would have the information, but the technology is what's not being implemented here yet, at least by COS. Right, right, right. I understand, but where, where, where does this in Indiana? Where would this information reside? Well, the information's in the government records and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, who's elected and all that. So what they were doing at this presentation is showing you that software exists that he's using that I don't know if he designed it or what, but I, I don't remember that part, but using software, you can scan these things and bring all that information in. So it's, it's, it's almost like we're a little bit ahead of the game here about doing something that detailed when Maybe right around the corner, we could get it with little effort. Well, what's around? What's right around the corner? Well, that I don't know. It depends. <laughs> depends on how much time he gets to work on it. He he knows how to do it, but doing it for one state is different to doing it for fifty. <laughs> what's it? What's his name again? I think you you told me this. I don't remember. Tim something. Was he on? Is he on, on that agenda that you sent us? That's right. He's on there. It's like the last presentation of the day. Right. Right. And you know, we're, we're still waiting on video from that SIA summit, but he gave a good demo of that kind of thing during the summit. He's already done this for Republicans elections, but that's partisan. So we can't use that for CEO as a, just kind of talk about it on the side, you know, but anyway. Now I was going to say, I, I don't think, uh, you know, right now, I, I don't think they want, I know they wanted to uh, have the school board members identify their political parties, but in Indiana, I don't think they have to do that right now. Just identify them at all helps because then you can locally. Oh, you sure. Can I mean, you know, I, and you just got to go to the uh, school board uh, website and, you know, they'll, yeah. they, they have a list of the members on, on each school board. Well, what, what, Larry, Jerry, what, what's your, what's your opinion on this? Do we, should, should we find out if this software is available to us? Sure. Yeah. I, you or know, do we recreate, I don't like do we... reinventing the wheel if you don't have to, you know right. I mean? If we can get a hold of it, and maybe maybe we can even tweak it to fit our state, you know, a little bit better, you know, so or or maybe make some enhancements to it, or just what take, leave some things now, out, you know. Decide you know? what kind of things we'd like to know, and uh, kind of like you know, a target list of objectives, let's say. Sure. Well, that's the thing, you know, um, uh, you know, I think that's, that's the, 
what Marty, what Marty, uh, what we what we talked about last week is what why I started going about uh, identifying all these uh, all these uh, organizations at the top, you know, like, you know, but I haven't gone down and done a deep dive as far as you know identifying individuals and who's up for election and, and that sort of thing as of right now. How, how many, how many, uh, a, a, am I, am I, am I correct here that we're talking about hundreds of organizations? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you, in libraries, you could probably run up a hundred uh, no. or just a few there's counties. Probably about, I think there's, uh, just in, uh, county libraries, there's over 250 uh, county libraries in the state. That doesn't include the school libraries. Well, yeah, you got the school libraries in Tippecanoe County. You got Purdue's library. You got the city of Lafayette's library, West Lafayette. Right. I think the city of Lafayette's probably got one too, and the county's got a library, plus all the school libraries. Yeah. Each school library well, would, would have a, a board, a library board. Uh, they would have somebody over it. Yeah. I mean, even when I went to school in Little Wolcott with 200 kids in the high school, there was a librarian. And I remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. And, and you know, I, Marty, Marty and I talked about um, here in Fishers where, you know, he's gone to the, uh, uh, w with a with a group Fishers One, um, because they had some uh, uh, cartoon porn in their uh, library, and um, um, yeah, he was, they, he was trying that. to get them to remove it, but the uh, uh, you know, he ran into objections with the with the board there. They didn't want to. Uh, they wouldn't even they wouldn't even let the person show the uh, book or mention it because it was objectionable to even to adults. So, and yeah. they had this in the, they had this in the child section, you know, so I think he was go there and check told, it out. He told us that they were just wanting it, wanting them to move it to the adult section. Yeah. And, and they, and they ran into opposition. Yeah. Even though so, they couldn't read it out loud. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Um, okay, well, it kind of sounds to me like a, one, one of the first things maybe we need to do is, is to contact this guy and see if this, if this software is going to be available to us. And yeah, I mean, he doesn't have to, you know, if, if uh, he, he doesn't have to modify it if he doesn't want to, uh, you know, if I can get a hold of it, you know, if I can get a hold of the the source code or the uh, the the uh, um, uh, dynamics of it, you know, I could I could surely modify it. You know, I've done plenty of that. I've, we've you know when I when I was at work at uh, Title 19, we took uh, different states and applications and modified them for Indiana. So you know, I'm used to that kind of thing. We modify. I've modified software all my life. <laughs> But now, realistically, he's not going to give this a, if he, if it's available. He's not going to give this away for free, is he? Uh, probably. I mean, that's, that's a, he's doing it for COS. I think that's kind of free. By the way, uh, I've modified life with all my software. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different take on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's down is up and what's up is down. <laughs> well, um, so Jerry, can, can you contact him since you attended the, yeah. the conference or I sure can. should I do that or I what? Could, I could actually identify him with a picture, but uh, uh, his um, ID or his name anyway is on that uh, schedule and Tim something. I know it's I like yeah. the big ones right now, but not good with names anyway. But so I got ways to find out. You you will you will contact him? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I know, I know uh, Marty was uh, was one was wanting to wait until after the uh, uh, Indiana legislative session is over for him to devote full attention to this. Uh, he, he's pretty wrapped up right now on on uh, legislation. So I think in the meantime, uh, probably a, a step that once once the immediate step here would be to contact the guy, this guy, Jerry, that's got the software and see where we stand with uh, being able to get that. Yep. Uh, then, then, I don't know, it kind of seems to me maybe the, the next step is going to be uh, uh, determining what we want to know, what we need to know. Uh, and, and, and in, in, in my perception of this, is, you know, is Larry, you, you would be strictly the, the administrator of this. The, I mean, the uh, lead, let's say. The, the, uh, imp, the well, I, I can't think of the term. You would not be generating this information. You would be the, the, wh where, where, the, where the information comes to and you are putting it in a format that, that uh, we have set up. Uh, in the, the software, so uh, and, and and this information is going to have to come. We're going to have to get region captains, district captains involved. Uh, the legislative liaison team that Marty's trying to put together. That those people will have to be involved. So, uh, so I guess we take it a step at a time here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Let's find out, uh, you know, if we can find out the details of, you know, what they, uh, not meticulous details, but a uh, high level kind of uh, uh, picture from, you know, 50,000 feet up of what, uh, what some of the features of the Texas um, plan is. Do, do you recall, uh, Jerry, was, was his presentation, was he? Was this available to everyone or was? Uh, I don't recall that. Um, I wasn't sure about it when I heard it. But he, what it was is every thing, every piece of ground, every map in the United States has got defining points all the way around, regardless of the shape. And this can bring up that map no matter what it is, like legislative district or a county or whatever, and look into that and see what data is there. Really? Yeah. Huh. You can look into your house and see if there's anything there at all. Is that right? <laughs> get really that get it that that fine? <laughs> down that far, but it'd be included in the other, so okay. maybe. <laughs> Hey, you can get that on Google Maps. You just type in your address and get a yeah. satellite view and then zoom yeah. in. I, I, I've, I've you seen see that. the car in your driveway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, well, are, is there something we're not thinking of here or is there something that uh, uh, we're glossing over? Or? Probably a lot we're not thinking of, but we're just kind of like beginning to look on this thing. Yeah. It's, uh, we're just looking yeah, through you, the store window right now. <laughs> it'll, it'll take more than a couple of meetings to put it all together. Yeah. But I, 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 I just can't, I, I think it's a great idea. I think anyone, this, this is, and, and this is all in, in, in the part of the concept of helping people that want to get active want to be activists provide them the information that that would be helpful to them to do that and uh and for us to be able to offer that i think that'd be great i think that would be great so yeah i i agree i i i think that uh, uh you know it, it's it's like marty's uh, uh frustration is that you know getting getting people off the couch and getting them active 
And as you know, uh, that's that's what it's going to take to to make uh, to make it a really grassroots activism. You know, is this actually, and, you know, we're not going to be doing any campaigning. So <laughs> this, this SIA summit was full of stuff that if we had all going right now and happening, and maybe some of that developed even further, which I think is, some of it's already been used, but developed further. COS would be the, the big boy in the bunch. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Everybody would know we're out there. Has this, has this got a name? Is, 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 does, what is, what is, uh, what's the name of this software? Is there a. Oh, well, the, the technique is, well, it kind of descriptive. It's geospatial. So it's looking at geo, that's the earth. And spatial is parts of it described by whatever. Oh, oh and you're looking okay. for so. Well, <clears throat> we need to come up with another name for this. So anyway, that's what we'll, 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 that'll come about later. <laughs> yeah, uh, it could be the the COS uh, CIA. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> By the way, the local Tea Party here is, is the CIA. Is. <laughs> <laughs> it stands for citizens in action <laughs> there there you go I, I like that i like that <laughs> i like that okay well let's uh um uh jerry if, if, if you can plan on uh over the next week uh try and make contact with this guy find out what you can sure. and we'll uh i know he's in texas so okay <laughs> And uh, maybe try to, if at all possible, uh, meet again, like next Friday at the same time here. And, yeah, and next Friday is kind of iffy for me because I got a uh, property closing on. Uh, well, whenever you, you let you let yeah. us know when you when you're ready to talk when you're ready to give us some information and we'll schedule something. And two weeks would be better. Yeah. Two weeks. Okay. All right. Two maybe iffy you know, but probably okay <laughs> all um, right okay well that's that's all I got for today then so well, i don't know what happened to marty uh he'll you show up sometimes things <laughs> so thank you very much okay right. have a good day guys we'll see you later right, dude see ya.